before this video starts real quick my voice is a bit weird i am a tad bit sick right now so i do apologize for that enjoy the video though hey what's going on guys it's your boy hit music back with another video and i'm gonna bring you, you part three of the music command series in today's video we will be going over now play move from q and root commands and by the way if you haven't checked my previous two videos i suggest you check those out because you won't understand anything in this video so with that out of the way let's get straight to the video what we want to start off by doing is go to your visual studio code like so and get to a random spot or like whatever you want to set your command if you're in cogs and do it in cogs but we're gonna start off by doing loop first so do client.command and then we can do async def and do loop we want to pass in ctx inside here and then we can do player if i can spell player player equals music dot this basically and this is from uh, our other code up front which is the same code and then we can do song equals oh wait it's not player dot loop it's actually player dot toggle then underscore song dot loop right here and then there we go now this will just make sure that the song is looping and it will check if it is actually looping by checking it will grab the status of the loop basically and then we want to check if it's looping or not because you know we want it to be looping so if it is song that is uh, looping by the way this is just a subcategory of what we made there we can do return oh wait ctx.send and then say uh f string yeah actually let's say song dot name is looping and then if they do it again you know like the same exact code again we can just do if song is not looping so like else basically else here so if it's not looping then just say is not looping there we go and this will just enable and disable our thing let's move on to our other commands which is going to be now playing over here if we do client.command once again and do basic def and i'm just going to be calling this now playing you could make an np like alias i guess you could say i'm just going to do now play because it's the easiest i mean now play you're not loud now player and then inside here you want to keep it so it's player equals and just grab this and that just defines our player and then you can do song equals player dot now playing so that's the song that's currently playing and it grabs that using our player variable which is like a sub variable i guess and then just do await ctx.send song name and it will tell you whatever song that is playing anyways let's get to the next command right here it's going to be remove from q so we want to do client.command again and this is going to be called async def it's going to be remove this one we're gonna actually pass in two parameters it's gonna be ctx and index and then open this up and do player equals ctx dot id like so so make sure you have the player variable what's for and have the song variable the song variable will be a bit different it's gonna be await player dot remove underscore from from q and then pass in don't pass in index we will be needing index do it like so and this will just make it so it will remove the song from the queue and now it will say ctx.send 
remove sound from here. And actually, let's replace sound with this and just do song.name. So now, let's say, let's say our song name was lo-fi, remove lo-fi from Q. It'll just make it easier. And we can even add this here. So it's just easier to look at for the person and they know what song it actually is. Okay, so that's the actual code. Yeah, I know that's it. Uh, let's hop on to Discord and let's actually test the code out. Okay, so here I am in my Discord, link down in the description. I suggest you guys join. But, uh, and I'm already in a voice channel, I'm in recording. If I just do D, join first, make sure you do have to join the bot. And it does show it's play something even though it's not. If you do D, play out on my lo fi and by the way, you cannot hear the audio because I'm not trying to get copyright claimed. I actually do hear it, so I'm just gonna lower the volume of it. Now, here we have the lo fi playing, and if we even do DQ, it's playing, you guys can test it out for yourself. But now, if we, let's say, do the playing, it will show the thing that's playing because that's what's playing, basically. If we do, let's say, D-Play, the vibe or something, I don't know, it's added to the queue. So if we, when we check the queue, it has a little combo and then here. I'll be showing you guys how you can make this better in the next video and how it's just easier to look at. But it says here, vibe official video. And this is what's currently playing, so... When we go to, let's say, I don't know, let's, let's try and remove this from the queue. We're going to do remove one because it's the first thing that's next, right? And so on and so forth. We can't remove whatever's playing right now. We shouldn't just skip that. So do the remove one and boom, it's removed from the queue. And if we check the queue now, there you go. It's just not there. It's like it's erased. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like. Uh, we are really close to 600 subscribers, so thank you for all that. And we hit 500 once again. Thank you a lot for that. But anyways, till next time, go scout.